everyone, welcome back to our GMAT Club YouTube channel. I'm Selby and here is this week's news. Book tests are free on behalf of Christmas. Experience unrestricted access to all 1600 questions, take up to 25 quant cats and 9 verbal cats and dive into focus quizzes. This exclusive offer lasts from 01am to 11.59pm Pacific time. Don't miss this opportunity to tackle some of the hardest quant questions available. If you're not planning to purchase GMAT Club tests, be sure to review your answers before midnight. Check out the link below to seize this holiday treat or explore alternative ways to access GMAT Club tests. Happy studying! Check out this comprehensive guide which addresses the common challenges faced by test takers scoring between V28 to V35 and provides practical strategies for improvement. From tackling messy ING words to mastering sentence correction, critical reasoning, and reading comprehension, discover personalized approaches to boost your verbal score. Explore specific tips for each section, including valuable insights on timing and resource utilization. Click the link below to read more about it. GMAT Club is on WhatsApp. If you like using this app and want updates on daily questions and get some cool tips, then follow our channel by clicking the link below. GMAT Club is also back with a much-anticipated NBA full-time ranking for 2023, reaffirming our commitment to unbiased, data-driven insights into the top MBA programs worldwide. Led by an experienced data professional, our rankings focus on ac acceptance criteria, academic readiness, and post-MBA career success. The transparent methodology includes key measures like acceptance rate, average GPA, GMAT GRE scores, and more. Each metric is weighted, contributing to a comprehensive evaluation of institutions. Key pointers here are that HBS tops our rankings with Stanford at number two, all the MS7s occupy the first seven positions, Yale, Berkeley, and Tuck are at the top 10, and Stern has the highest GMAT average score after Stanford. Read about the rankings in detail with a link below. Before we continue, it would be great if you quickly leave a like to this video. Okay, let's move on to the next news update. GMAT Club has a wide range of resources and here is how it can help with GRE, EA, and test waiver applicants. From connecting with the business school community in dedicated chat rooms to gaining insights from expert-led events, GMAT Club offers a wealth of resources. Access important articles covering business school information, career reports, and more. Leverage strategic tools like What Are My Chances and Decision Tracker for informed decision making. You can get personalized guidance through expert analysis just by creating a post. GMAT Club goes beyond GMAT prep, and it definitely provides holistic support for a successful MBA journey. To know more about how GMAT Club can help you, read the post linked below. Approaching scholarship negotiation and MBA admissions requires finesse and strategic thinking. While the success rate is relatively low, some tactics can enhance your chances. Sending a thank you letter to the adcom, especially if you've built a relationship, can pave the way. Leveraging another offer, being polite, specific, and indirectly asking for information can also be effective. Some have reported success by requesting a decision extension, signaling to the school that they are waiting on other offers. Being well-informed and evaluating multiple offers is crucial. Remember, there's typically no downside to negotiating for financial aid. Check out success stories and additional tips on the GMAT Club forum for a comprehensive guide, linked below. When choosing an MBA program, prioritizing location might not be the wisest strategy. Instead, focus on your post-MBA goals, considering factors like career trajectory and industry specialization. While alumni networks can influence location choices, top-ranked programs with a good fit for your objectives open more doors. Think of the MBA experience as an intensive conference rather than a permanent move or vacation. Attend the best school for your career goals and later, if desired, relocate or indulge in a favorite vacation spot. This approach ensures strategic decision-making that aligns with long-term aspirations. Read the post linked below on how shortlisting MBA programs doesn't just depend on location. It ain't everything. Listen to our latest podcast titled My Successful Transition from GMAT 710 to GRE 333 by clicking the link below. Watch our latest video where we dive into the inspiring MBA journey of John, a PE slash VC associate and former management consultant. John was raised in a trailer in the backwoods of Alaska and his family was consistently below the poverty line growing up. Being the first in his family to go to college, John ended up creating Bain and & Companies and MBB's first affinity group for FGLI individuals. 
He also came from a small and little known growth equity fund. So getting into both the Stanford, GSB and Warden, when he knew that they typically have access to candidates with much more backgrounds than one such as John, was a massive Hail Mary for him. In addition, John did not use any MBA consultants on his journey to his MBA programs, which is a bit atypical as well. In this conversation with John, we will understand his motivations for MBA, what makes the story unique, rationale behind applying to HBS, Stanford, Warden, Kellogg, and Chicago Booth, and how he navigated through the MBA application process, essays, resume, recommendations, interviews, etc. And what contributed to his success? Click here to watch. There's been a lot of weirdness going on in terms of students getting admissions this season. Most weirdness seems to be happening with Kellogg and MIT. Kellogg is admitting many people that are other programs denied while MIT denied many people HBS admitted. Here are some profiles from our decision tracker that you can quickly pause and check to see what we mean. Our decision tracker is such a great tool when it comes to checking student profiles and where all they got admitted and we highly recommend you check them out with the link below. And that's it guys, that wraps up this week's update. Make sure to give the video a like if you enjoy our weekly news series and leave a comment on the news update that you liked the most. See you guys next week. Cheers.